Okay, we have a new record high for gold as it breaks out above the previous swing high from December, hitting a new record high of 21.42 today. This is Bruce for FX Empire taking a look at the daily chart for gold. So, a few th key things to recognize here, and I want to talk about the main target that I've got highlighted in this chart. First of all, we have a large symmetrical triangle with boundaries with these two trend lines identifying the boundaries. We broke out last Thursday, and then we took off on Friday from that breakout. So the initial day breakout was not a big deal. Normal confirmed breakout because we closed above the line. But then the next day, momentum kicked in, and now we really see that kicking in with a new record high in only three days. So it, it wouldn't be surprising to see some short-term resistance, as we're seeing, in a pullback and consolidation before gold prepares itself to move higher. Two things to point out today and yesterday, probably today, I should say, because we're not closed yet, we're going to have record daily closing highs in gold confirmation of strength. The next confirmation of strength is on a, a close above the previous high of 2135. That will give us another comfort, uh, another level of confidence. Then a close above today's high, 2142. Once we, I'm sorry, yeah, 2142. Once we get a close above that level, Another confirmation of strength, all heading towards, I believe, or certainly what the technicals seem to be indicating, or one level it's indicating, is 2189 to 2194 target zone, which is a combination of two things. And when two indications or two methods tell us the same price zone, we want to pay particular attention to that area. So the first is a the measuring objective from the symmetrical triangle where we're taking the distance from the low to the high and adding it onto the breakout level to get the 2189. The second is when we look at these two previous measure moves off this October 23 bottom, the first was 11%, a relatively quick period of time, short period of time, and the second 10.5%. So if we assume a 10.5% minimum move off the C point, then we're looking at 2194 on gold. So that's two different methods coming up with the same. And by the way, these are minimal based on these methods. So if you found some value in this video, please like and subscribe. Have a great week, traders.